Hello, I'm Andrew Smith from the UK Open University Cisco Academy Academy Support Centre. This short video is going to cover creating a course on the Netacad Canvas system. I'm going to presume you're logged in like I am. Obviously, we always see slightly different profiles based on the courses we create and the academies we're connected to. As you can see already, I've got some classes that I'm actually running at the time of this video recording for our students at the Open University. You will see in the Teach tab, over to the right hand side is a link that cunningly says create a course. If you click on that, a light box will appear. And just zoom in very slightly. Now I'm a member of multiple academies, which some of you may also be. So if you are, make sure that you've selected the correct academy for you so that you can see that your students are going to be in your academy. Some of you may in the future become affiliated with other academies, that is okay. So the course name needs to be something locally significant and easy to remember. Calling it test is not necessarily a good idea. Calling it something you will remember recall in years to come so that you're going back through the historic class names is a good thing. We often recommend putting the tutor's name in, the year that it's been delivered, even the month it started, as well as the course it is. So I'm going to set up a class in Linux Essentials and it's December and it is 20, 2016 at the moment and the group is going to be, let's say, year 10 IT. Okay, that would be something I will consider doing. Your course ID can also be something locally significant. Some institutions have course codes, long numbers. Use that if you wish. Or, as we do at the Open University, we put exactly the same details into the course name and the course ID. So, I have a very long list of courses that I have the rights to be able to create. You will have a shorter list, but in your list you will see all the classes that you can connect to, you can create and you can manage. Down here is the Linux Essentials course. Creating the course is the same for Linux Essentials, Cyber Security, Internet of Things, CCNA 1, 2, 3 and 4, Network Essentials and so on and so on and so on. Obviously you may have discovered that there are different languages and versions. Some courses have multiple languages. This is important. Some courses have different versions. This is also important. And you will obviously need to set a start date. Today is December the 1st at the time of recording. You can set it into the future. And for some courses you have up to 365 days in which to run them. So if I was following a traditional academic year, in context of when I'm creating this, this course could finish at the end of July in 2017. Take note, especially for many of my British colleagues, that these are American dates, not British dates. Cisco is an American company. This is the American system. It is used in the American dates convention. So that's not the 12th of January. That is the 1st of December. You can also add additional instructors. We have multiple instructors at the Open University that um, could be in the class as well. And our advice to a lot of our academies is to add instructors like um, your colleagues so that if any of you are off sick or not available or you're sharing a class, there is then multiple administrators sitting within your um, class to enable management. Normally you will manage your own class and that is fine, but then you may discover that um, in time this class is handed over to somebody else or you may find that a member of your teaching team has moved on. What we're saying is we highly recommend that this class is shared with as many people as possible even though you may be the sole and main teacher for it because I know what students are like and I know what class management is like. So as soon as you click save, I'm going to just get rid of Android so that this doesn't appear on our list. And 
then just click on save. Now obviously we're just going to wait for the magical internet hamster to load that, but then you will see in the top left here that we've created this class and it's part one of being ready. In the next two videos you will then see how to add students and also activate the class as well.